Have you ever wondered if the ads you're running are achieving your business goals? Today, I'll show you one simple trick that will change your business forever. Welcome to the all new Hawk Talks. I'm Shelby. I'm a technical account manager here at AdHawk. I work with clients to help set up both Google and Facebook tracking. Today, we'll be going over how to set up conversion tracking. A conversion is anything that your business defines as valuable. That could be anything from purchase, signups, form fills, calls from site. It's something that you define as valuable and is important to your business. We'll be going over how to set up Google Ads so you can track phone calls from your website. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go over here where the blue plus is and you're gonna click that and that's gonna open um, a new screen for you to create a new conversion. Today we're doing phone calls from site, so you'll go over here and select phone calls. From there, you're gonna wanna select which option. Today we're doing a phone number to your website, so you'll go ahead and just click that. You'll click continue. And here's where you're gonna enter all the information about the conversion. So first we'll start with the conversion name. Today we'll title this call from site. Next, you'll pick the value. Since this is a phone call, there isn't going to be a value associated with it, so you can select don't use a value for this conversion action. Next, we'll be going over the count. Typically, when you are tracking anything like a phone call, a sign up, conversions like that, you'll want to select one, so we'll go ahead and do that. Call length, you'll get to choose this however long you want this to be. Typically, we leave it as a best practice for 60 seconds, but you can totally alter this for your needs. Next is a conversion window. This is a time from when the person interacts with your ad and completes a conversion. You're able to select whatever best fits your business. Best practice for us is 30 days. Include in conversions. You'll want to make sure this box is checked in order to be able to see conversions in your campaigns. Finally, we have attribution model. We typically recommend doing position-based, but this can change depending on your needs. Finally, you'll click Create and Continue. So finally, we get to Tag Setup. This can be a little tricky. There's three different options you have here. First being install the tag yourself with the code on your site. You'll go ahead, click into that. First, you get the global site tag. Now this needs to be across your entire site. Without the global site tag, no conversion tracking will work. Next, you're gonna populate the phone number. You'll go ahead and enter the phone number exactly as it appears on your site. If it's not exactly how it is on your site, call tracking will not work. Next, you're going to create your conversion snippet. You'll go ahead, pull this code, and you'll want that code placed on every site where the phone number appears. Finally, you'll want to configure call extensions. You also have the option to email a tag straight to your webmaster. Here, you'll do the same thing, enter in the phone number, go ahead and enter in an email address, and Google will automatically send all the instructions over and you don't have to worry about anything. The final option, and personally my favorite option, is using Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager is a container tag that sits on your website and houses other tags. All you need to do with Google Tag Manager is have Google Tag Manager already on your site. You'll go ahead, copy the conversion ID, copy the conversion label, put this into Google Tag Manager, enter in the phone number, and it will automatically do everything else for you. Finally, after you've decided how you want to implement your tag, simply click Next. You'll click Done. Once you click Done, you'll see your conversion action populate on the conversion screen. Your tag will show unverified until Google is able to verify that your tag is on the site. Don't be nervous if this takes a few hours. Once you do see conversions coming in, you'll see the repeat rate, all conversions which will show how many conversions, and the conversion value if there is any. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow so you don't miss a single episode of Hawk Talks.